Welcome back to Tiny Zoo. Do hope you're doing well. Thank you very much for watching me today. Um, right, so in our last episode, we did this, our flamingo pond. Um, and it turned out rather nice. And I did mention that I had an idea of what I was gonna build just back here. Um, and I've got it started. So let me show you what I'm doing. Um, so you can see I've got a raised area and then a sunken area and so I've 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 made it um, water down here uh, finally finally managed to do a water thing without it causing me any stress uh, really you know the, the water in this game as you as you know if you've watched my previous videos it confuses the hell out of me what you can do with water why sometimes the barriers can hold water and sometimes they can't um it's yeah it's very very odd um probably just me being stupid but there we are that's not uh, you know, <laughs> if you speak to anyone who knows me they'll say that's nothing unusual um yeah so anyway this is what i've got so it's going to be uh, a small land area up here and then the main area is water and we are going to be putting in here uh, two salt water crocodiles um, and I think they're going to be very happy with that because they've got lots and lots of water to uh, to do nothing in because that's what saltwater crocodiles do. <laughs> they really don't move much. I think um, certainly uh, the, my local wildlife park uh, does have a, some crocodiles in and I've probably been to this place. I don't think I would be exaggerating to say I've been over 50 times and in all that time I've probably seen the crocodiles move their tails once possibly one of them blinked at me at some point I'm not sure uh, but generally they are sitting dead still for hours and hours and hours it's a very boring life um, so they don't really do a lot well, I mean in the game they do it they, they do a bit more uh, which is good but um, yeah in real life they are not active animals interesting but uh, not the most exciting things to look at but there we go so anyway that that is what is going in here um so that's what i'm up to so far so i'm gonna work in the water first i think um, so i want to make sure i decorate the floor i've made the water quite clear uh, i may even make it a bit clearer because i obviously it's going to be viewed from the side down here and so i want um i want people to be able to see right through uh, to see the crocodiles swimming around so uh, yeah that's the plan so I am going to decorate the floor but there's not going to be too much uh, in in way of um, height within the water I don't think and then the back area here is going to be very secluded because you can't see it from anywhere really you can sort of see it in, a di in the distance from down here but of course as you get up here it's bricks so you could you could look through this door and get a bit of a glimpse inside but other than that this is going to be the crocodiles private area where they can go and get away from people there's not going to be any sort of viewing platform or anything to see in there um, so that's uh, that's my plan right so let me uh, let me go away and uh, and crack on and uh, I'll be right back for anyone that doesn't know that was the jaws theme tune being hummed by me <laughs> i know jaws is a shark and this is a crocodile but still it's the same idea um so yes as you can see we do have uh, our crocodiles in one of them up there and one of them up here there we go and as i said they're not doing much but they will when the keeper comes in and drops some food off they will move okay so what have i been up to well firstly as you can see i have made the water a tiny bit clearer just so you can really see through there well you see you can see them hovering in the distance there so i've gone and decorated the floor so let me show you from up here so I've done my usual i've used these rocks um just sunken into the ground uh, a small amount and then just scattered bits of various different uh, aquatic plants some of this mossy stuff uh, there's a few of the um, the panels, the you know the the, the decorated um, sort of moss panels sunken in. There's some of these um, whatever these things are. Uh, yeah, so the underwater temple plants. I always forget them. Underwater temple plants. A couple of fallen logs, as is my tradition. Um, three of them, in fact, in here. A few shrubs as well. I know these are shrubs that aren't meant to be underwater, but I thought they looked pretty good. Um, you know they, they could easily be things that grow in the water 
Uh, I just wanted a bit of variation in there really. Um, and then uh, I've put in this sort of fake rock wall here with the slope just to really ease the crocodiles in and out of the water. Uh, again, any, any crocodile enclosure that I've uh, ever seen has always got some sort of slope for the crocodiles. Uh, to get in and out because they're not really climbers they you know their body shape and their, their the length of their legs doesn't really allow them to do a lot of climbing so you've got to try and make it as easy as possible for them to just walk in and out of the water uh, so that is the thinking behind that a couple of nice trees up the back here um, I love this uh, it's a Himalayan birch I think this one yeah Himalayan birch really nice yeah I'm getting to know the names of these trees which is uh, taking me a little while um, but there's two of them in here I think that looks really nice kind of wanted it almost to look like one large tree with uh, with lots of stems so I just put a couple of shrubs in here just to, to hide the base a little bit um, another one of these acacia umbrella trees here just because they're awesome and then just to blend the two bits together here I've put some some of these uh, what are these ones white birch yeah so a couple inside and a few outside there just to kind of blend these two areas together a bit more and then some more shrubs again not too much inside here there were some rocks here that were left over from what I did outside here but I've left them in there's nothing wrong with having some extra rocks sitting in here um, I think they look absolutely fine so yeah there we go that's uh that's where we're up to so the, the crocodiles can maneuver around here quite well i don't think uh, these shrubberies really block um block them getting around too much yeah it's a little bit around this tree here but it's fine they they've got enough room to maneuver um so yeah pretty happy with that so i've still got obviously enrichment to do in here um and a lot of decorating around the outside plus a uh, custom barrier so obviously this this glass uh, is fine and it's practical but it looks terrible so i will be making a custom barrier to go all around here and cover up these posts and the tops and the bottoms as well as well as working on whatever i do around the pathway at the bottom um, so that is what i'm going to do next uh, so uh, let me go and crack on with that and i will be right back and here we are the crocodile habitat is complete. I really like how it looks actually. I'm, uh, I'm pretty pleased with this. So uh, I talked about redoing the barrier around the outside as you can see. I've gone with these huge stone posts um, because this would need to be really strong to hold this volume of water, particularly on all three sides. You know, it's not like there's any solid walls. This is just posts and glass. Uh, and that water is going to be very strong. So I figured these posts needed to be really thick. So I've gone with these th the, the thickest stone posts that I could find. S uh, stone at the bottom as well and then uh, wood along the top because the, the, the strength here isn't needed. The strength would be in the, in the pillars. Uh, and obviously you've got thick glass. Uh, so this would be more for just decoration really. That could have been left as blank glass but I kind of liked the look of having the wood along the top uh, so that is what I went for with the barrier a couple of information boards on this uh, on this pillar at the end here so that people can have a read about what they're looking at uh, put in some of these water vents along uh, the bottom um, sort of you know like a, a water drain uh, which I've done elsewhere in the park as well uh, in the zoo I should say God, I'm still in that habit from playing planet coaster uh, of calling it a park rather than a zoo isn't that terrible I've been playing this one for, for long enough I should have figured it out by now um, so yeah so that's it. that's the barrier I think that has turned out really nice actually and then up here just uh, a few bits of enrichment um, so they've got a football they've got a scratching post they've got a feeding post here a scent um, bowl and one of these uh, actually what is this one that's a pen that's a, a prey scented sack as well oh and look at that he's having a munch Oh, yummy, yummy. Look at that. Tasty. That's a happy croc, isn't it? <laughs> Brilliant. It's what we like to see. Happy animals. Um, and in fact, what is this one? Oh, yes, they've got a blood pumpkin as well, which needs to be topped up. So, so there we are. That is our saltwater crocodile habitat. Oh, yes. And I also put in one of these larger billboards up here uh, with some more information on the crocs. Um, so there we are. Um, 
obviously backstage wise they didn't need anything because I've got a hut just here so they can share that one with the flamingos I really didn't feel the need to add anything else in um, yeah I'm loving that I think I'm, I'm really pleased with how that's turned out um, I hope you like it let me know and um, yeah I mean it was a pretty straightforward build actually it's not too spectacular but uh, I think he the the end result is uh, is is pretty good so um, yeah it's a good good day's work that one um, not again not too sure what I'm doing next but it's gonna be here I've decided I'm, I'm just continuing around around this way uh, and then I'll, I'll build over here as well um, I, you know I want to keep the, the zoo fairly um, fairly well shaped so I don't want it to get too lopsided so if I come around here now and fill these gaps in it keeps it all quite uh, quite compact doesn't it so that's the plan so whatever I do next it's gonna be just here uh, but for now uh, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave you there let's just go in and leave you with a nice little view of our big male crocodile here I think this is the male yes Galang what a name what's your name I'm Galang that's a cool name I might name my child Galang not sure my girlfriend would appreciate that but um, we shall see anyway thank you very much for watching hope you had fun I certainly have and uh, for me and Galang farewell and we will see you in the next one bye for now